Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together as the Hansa. In the last episode we managed to secure an alliance with um, Austria. They like us quite a bit though it is fluctuating because they have the um, competing great power thing or proof relations with them. And they will be pissed when we annex Lüneburg, because it is a prince of the empire. They don't like to see us annexing princes. I will offer them military access, so they like me a bit more. Yeah. We call the diplomat. Yeah. I'm going to go up in speed a bit. And... Galway has lost its war against Cologne. It seems that Cologne managed to stand up again from their crushing defeat against us. <laughs> so they have now military access and like us a bit more for it. Let's see if we can get trade power from them. No, they won't do it. Okay, in the next month we will annex Lüneburg. Yeah, that is what we did. So we have a lot less diplomatic reputation now. They are part of our glorious nation though. What can we do? We can bring down the autonomy in this province a bit. And it has woods. But I would like to gain one more. We take the military points. Now it has another building spot, on the building slot, I, I think I should say. Now let's improve, not the relations with Denmark, they are a vessel and know what's good for them. Let's improve the relations with all our, all our bodies. This is bad. Relations improved. We have found common grounds with one of our neighbors and the fact that we share the same faith. Our relations have improved and this can only be good for the future. And Poland likes us 30 more. It's not going to do much for us. <laughs> I could send Austria a gift, but they are pretty rich. I am thinking that every point counts, so I'll send it to them. I really need them on my side with Austria uh, in, and England and Muscovy, no one is going to dream about attacking me. They just can't afford it. Oh, and we, we got another, another bunch of army guys. We have 3,000 men of infantry. Um, we're going to put one in each army and we're going to kick one out. You have to go, I'm afraid, sorry. How's the autonomy going? So we could reduce the autonomy in Ostfriesland. This will give us some unrest, but will enhance our position. Do the same here. How's the thing going over here in Danzig? This is an incredibly rich province. From the get-go, 16 development, that's fine. You should really build a marketplace over there. Yeah, send send our improved relations guy over here. We we can can stay and try to to keep them on our side. Oh, Christy is trying to get closer to Portugal. Yeah, maintain the diplomat. Cologne is no longer our rival, that's good. Merge these two armies together. How big is the force limit of Denmark? Yeah, eight. We could do some more building up. And Denmark's power is our power, because they are a loyal vessel, even though they don't like us. So we have eclipsed um, Cologne. They are too small now for us. Um, who should be our enemy? I think it should be Poland. 
allied with Sweden and Bohemia. Well, that's not good. I might lose Bohemia if I do that. But if I have to choose between Bohemia and Austria, I will take Austria. The only problem with Austria is as long as they are Emperor, they will not join any internal HRE wars. But I'm, I figure that I am strong enough to take on anyone in the HRE. Except for the, for the real big players, Bavaria, um, Brandenburg and Saxony. But I am among the strongest here. I have 28,000 men, the same as Bohemia. Let's look at Bavaria. Yeah, they have only 9, no, 24,000. So they even they are a bit weaker than us. It should be Poland. It should be. I cannot pull Bohemia into a war against Poland, but if I attack Sweden, and pull in Bohemia, then the alliance will automatically break and they won't retake it. Election! So another guy has died. Who are we going to take? If I take one more trading guy, we'll get the traders back in power. Get more trade power and less naval maintenance. But I think we need the force limit. Hmm. I think we need a bureaucratic candidate to get us up to speed. We have a costly embargo going on. That we will take back. We'll revoke the embargo. No. Revoke the embargo. Yeah, do that. We will improve our relations with Bohemia to the max can be increased by 40. They are annoyed that I annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire, as is every other prince. We're slowly getting somewhere. We're also losing our aggressive expansion, which is sky high, with 97 against Austria. 66, 104, 77, 84. We've even 37 against France, so that's a lot. Burgundy. Is Burgundy hating me? Nope. But they are all pretty weary. Yeah, I am a competing great power of France. That's strange. England is in a military alliance with Florence over here. It's fine, I guess. The um, One of the Italian powerhouses. Oh, Papal State is doing quite well for themselves. How is Venice? How is Venice? Oh, in Trier, more people entering the coalition. Do I, do I look weak? I shouldn't think so. We're going to take Poland as a rival. Might induce them to Join the coalition against me. And Pomerania has joined the coalition. I want to see them do it. Bring it. Let's see if I can take you. We're going to take this guy here. A bit more taxes. Might not be bad. We only get 6.8 in taxes. It's all dwarfed by our trade income, which is really good now. It's excellent. I should fabricate a claim on Ösel and Goldingen. And also on Memel. And anything else that I can take over here. I could think about um, releasing the Teutonic Order. And then using the Teutonic Order to soak up all the things over here. But on the other hand, it's not really my goal to conquer all of this all of this land. I just want a coastline, some sort of a connection and the important trading places and then we will leave Europe and do something else. Oh yeah, and Austria is liking us more. 
Seems we are not a competing great power again. Oh, yeah, we are. Is Austria then not a great power? Oh, no, they are again. This fluctuation doesn't really make me happy. We are, we have enemy of enemy, an alliance, same religion, 100 improved relations. And they still don't like us that much. It will be difficult to keep this alliance, but I think it will be worth it. Bohemia is at our side. Saxony made quite a big uh, land grab, took Braunschweig, Kassel and Anhalt from their neighbors. I wonder why there's no coalition against them. That seems to be perfectly reasonable for everyone around them. Because that's what Saxony does, it seems. That's what they are allowed to do. So we have to keep the diplomat in Austria. Are they in a war? No, they have truces with Castile and France and Aragon. The only guy that they could go to war is Hungary. And also Burgundy. And one of our generals died. I wonder if we are going to recruit him back. Our army tradition is not that bad. I don't think I will do it. We're going to make our leader into a general. And we lost our great six shock leader. But that's life, I guess. We are losing out on quite a bit of trade here in the Baltic Sea. How's our aggressive expansion coming along? 96, 60, 43. The coalition against us could spring at any time. And if I attack Sweden, all the other coalition members will be called into the war. And that might complicate things a bit. We're going to take back this guy and try to get Magdeburg out of it. Sweden has left the coalition! That's very very interesting the allies are Scotland and Poland let's have a look let's have a look at uh, Poland first 54,000 so they are up to strength in a way but they only have 6,000 manpower they are weakened Moscow has 59 so they should be able to take them out Lithuania has 40 at the moment how many are Sweden themselves have? 43. It's not undoable. The problem is that Sweden's uh, military gets stronger and stronger. They're also at the same military level. If we could rush this and get the next level before they do, and the next level of infantry, then we might be able to attack them. I think I'll try and Convince the guys around me that I'm not such a bad guy. Could really use another diplomat right now. Austria is being a bit friendlier. Oh, and we're gaining one stability. Uh, because of that, I will invest another 150. So we are at plus two. That should make our income a bit better. Yeah. I think I'll take the Austrian diplomat to improve our relations with Muscovy. Keep our friends close. And our enemies closer. These are our enemies and they are really close. What I should do though is bring up the fleet maintenance. Because we never know when we might get attacked. How is our fleet? Limit. Oh, we just won over. That's good. That's really good. I'm happy about that. Magdeburg has left the coalition. That's great. Thanks, buddy. 
they have decided that we're not such a bad guy after all. And yeah, I mean, they are on the same side. Nassau has left the military coalition. People are leaving the coalition against us even as we speak. That makes me very happy. So we could take... What about Magdeburg? We are still outraged. Yeah, I'll leave the diplomat over there. Our alliance with Muscovy has certainly gotten stronger because we now have two two guys. Oh, and Austria is conquering Göre. Really? And they want me to help. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. There will be a time when we take the low countries from Austria. Sweden is fabricating a claim on our provinces. Really, buddy? Those lands are even Danish. So they will never lose the Danish core. We want that. I think our next grab will be in the east. I think we will take all the land that we need there. We are going to take Memel and any connection to connect it up to Danzig. I hope no one will care about that too much. We will take Ösel, Goldingen and as much land over here as we can. And we will return these cores to our vessel. Well, that will be a giant war. This war is not that big. Oh, Utrecht has been conquered by Austria. Yeah, I remember some time ago. Interesting. Bohemia must accept Austrian overlordship. That's not good. I'd rather have Bohemia on my side. Oh, and England has declared war on Gölre at the same time. That's funny. I don't think they will get anything out of this. <laughs> Everyone wants to get Gölre. Oh, it has a 29 development. This AI has gone crazy developing the province. Friesland has 30. Holland 23. 19, 26, 18, 20, 19, 20, 19, 19. So the low countries are an incredible rich land. How's Cologne looking? 28. Compared to that, our provinces are rather poor now. I might do some more developing, but uh, I shouldn't really. How's the workshop looking? I could build a temple over here. I think first we'll build the marketplace. So, left uh, annex Galera. Yes, yeah, will give us 11.6 straight power in this node. That's good. We still have the incredible expensive advisor. That brings down our aggressive expansion. I think I'm going to kick him. We cannot do great strides. So thank you for your services. You're no longer required. I'll pick up another guy here. That should balance our money situation out by a bit. It's a new monarch in Sweden. It's not particularly important. Our army is too big by three. Oh, we should do something against that. Brunswick has declared war upon East Frisia. Oh, well, people are going wild around me. Who's still in the coalition? Hessen, Trier, and Pomerania. Only those. Okay. Magdeburg is still outraged. I'd rather if they weren't. And Moscow is completely my friend now. I think we'll send the diplomat to Pomerania next to get them out of this coalition. Might not be quite enough. We're certainly getting a lot of money now. 
I want another guy. Let's see if I can get someone better. Diplomatic relation, uh, reputation guy, perhaps. Our aggressive expansion is uh, shrinking. That's for certain, but people are still incredibly annoyed. Brandenburg has 93 aggressive expansion against us. Austria, 86. Paris cannot join a coalition now. And Burgundy can neither. So that's good. But Venice still could join a coalition against me. Because they are so annoyed that I took Denmark as my vassal. Uh, let them. They cannot do anything to us. So we're going to take this guy. Enhance our diplomatic reputation. And I think that's going to be it. In the next few episodes, we might attack Sweden. Let's have a look at how this would work out if I attack Sweden. For, let's say, the Korsgane that my vessel has. Bohemia wouldn't come in. That's unfortunate. Austria would. Moscow would. And England would. So my heavy hitters would do it. So each of these guys brings at least 50,000 troops to the table. But we would also stand against about an equal amount of uh, enemies. I wonder if it's wise to do that when they are not embroiled in the war. I mean, Sweden has full manpower, a full army. And Poland is also slowly coming back. Where, where are they? Poland here. If still only 8,000 manpower, but 61,000 troops again. I wonder if we could do it. I would theoretically have to take out Sweden myself. They have still Scotland and Poland. I don't care about Scotland at all. They would just be annihilated by England. But Poland is a problem. I would like to, them to lose their their personal union. That would help us immensely. Immensely. And they also military tech 8. And since they changed their troops a couple of patches ago, these eastern troops are no pushovers, especially not the Polish troops, who are pretty good. And they have also pretty good ideas. They have uh, pretty strong units overall. So I don't think we will be doing that. Just now I think I have to get my strength up a bit more. In any case, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of this series or my other content in the future, then please consider subscribing if you aren't already. I hope you join me in the next episode. See you then. Bye bye.